Hello and welcome back to another video of Royale Minecraft. Off camera we've done a few things. Number one, you might notice my levels have gone have gone down from 80 something now to 63. So first thing that happened, uh, I don't think I don't remember what day this was, but Bun Master decided to fire wither. And when I mean fire wither, I mean he literally thought, let me just go fight this thing by myself in the middle of nowhere, far away. And then he died a couple of times. Denair went to go help him. Denair died because he has no good gear on. Really ever. And then I'm like, fine, I'll come help you. I don't die for like a good chunk of this thing until it decides to come down on top of my head because it got into the battle mode and then kill me. And we got this thing, the weather ended up going above 400 blocks if you're wondering. So, uh, we lost a couple of things, not too much. We lost the 80 levels, but I got them all back at the gold farm. Easy. And the other thing we lost is the Silk Touch pickaxe, and that's all I can recall, so that's probably the only important things we had in my inventory. Thought we lost the Soulker Box until I realized I left it at the Creeper Farm, which is not working yet. I'm gonna figure out why. It might be too high. You gotta love it when YouTubers don't know... What they're talking about, and they say you have to build this thing 150 blocks above the ground, and what they actually mean is at height 150. Okay, today we are hunting down wither skulls, but I don't think wither skeletons are spawning. Kind of the reason we're doing this, but because we also want a beacon so we can work on having stuff made. I haven't really worked on the mountain for a while, but I plan on doing that again real soon. I got bored of it, I was more into doing fun stuff, and now I'm back. That did not one shot you, that is right for me. That did not catch me on fire though. Okay, probably spin the turn. We can switch over in case we start falling, and glide, and then go to the fireworks. Okay, now we are just on the hunt for where the skeletons. That's gonna be fun. <clears throat> what? Wait, I don't really go. I think it's down this way that I don't really go. Okay. This isn't that big of another fortress, but there's a couple of different ways you can go. Let's see, what is there? Blaze the spawners up here. Anything down this way, this usually is a dead end. This one's a dead end, I can tell you that for a fact. Nothing spawned. Um, this way is normally just a bunch of blaze. You are new! So they are spawning! Where are the skeletons if you're wondering down there? Just beyond infrequent. And very low HP, I just need one shot that thing. Uh, we are trying to get a beacon for anyone that is wondering for our base, actually a couple more than just one. Also, I'm very sketchy about the pigments since I haven't hit a single one and I've been attacked before by them. Okay, uh... Thank you, but you had nothing I wanted, I just needed to do that. So... One weather skeleton has spawned of the seven times I already come. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. And none of them have dropped. By that, I mean that single one has yet to drop a single skull, so. I've killed one before. Like the first time I came. And that's because it was protecting my gear when it killed me the first time. I don't know how you get over. Wait, never mind, that's the part I was at before. Nothing. Um, we're gonna be here a while, try and cut down something. My goal is to at least get one weather skeleton head today. Cause it seems like they aren't spawning. If I get weather skeleton skull, I am gonna be so happy. Also, we have the first beacon ever up at spawn. 
And I'll show you at how good of a level we made it. Because we are not good at math, apparently. I was actually originally questioning w how his math was working. I was like, if the base is meant to be 9x9, nine nine, how do we only need 81 blocks to make the beacon? Yeah, that was wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah, I'm in the nether. It's 81 plus 81, which is 162 blocks. Right? That's how many blocks you need? Because 81 was enough to make the first three layers, more or less. We actually had a few extra. Yeah, 81 is exactly how many we had for the first layer. 162 blocks is what you need to make the a beacon, more or less. Don't actually know if that math is correct. But math is like, ah, oh, it's just 81 blocks you need. I'm I was like, how big is the base? He's like nine by nine. I'm like. Uh, your math does not add up there. And he's like, yeah, it does. I'm like, okay. And then we built it, and he's like, oh, I see what you mean. So, yeah. Our the beacon at spawn isn't full power. I nearly jumped into the void. Well, not the void, but lava pit or whatever's underneath. Oh, we have one weather skeleton down there. How do I put him down there? Also, I hear a gas, which is not fun. Killing that thing real quick. Can you stop. <laughs> Running. How am I, sir m or ma'am? Uh, okay. Hey, a guest here. I don't think we have one of those yet. I hate gas, if you're wondering. Where did the wither skeleton go? Why are you running away from me? You scared already? It didn't even drop a bone. Ooh, gunpowder. I already killed this with this one over here. Did not collect his loot. I did not bring a, all my diamond gear because I do not feel like dying. I have three tons in my inventory because if I fall in lava, I can keep switching through them to survive and hoping to survive. Now we just have to get back home. And I guess go to spawn so we can show you the wither, the beacon. I have done some enchanting. I was level 70 and then got down to level 40, if not lower, by enchanting some of my gear. Because, you know me, I'm going for that diamond, that maxed out diamond gear. And then I gotta turn it to netherite. So is it really worth maxing it out if I'm gonna have to probably de enchant my. We'll see. I don't have to de enchant my gear make it netherite I'm gonna be happy but if I have to de-enchant it and re-enchant it I'm gonna be angry very angry also why are there this many pigments spawning terrifying enough without having to worry if you hit one an entire army is gonna come for you so the spawn is right here go through the portal You will notice a beam of light in the sky. An emerald beacon. All of our emeralds were put to this thing. It gives you speed one. Not the best, but better than nothing. And spawns and I guess fixed that because I sent a stuff to make it. Uh, if we come and look at our stores real quick, because why not? Someone decided to put carrots in there, sir. So go ahead. I'm gonna. Pass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a bonus. I'm just taking those. That's not needed. And they did pay for the one that they took. I'm pretty sure it was bun mass. They stuck the carrots in the wrong chest. If they don't want their carrots, they can put them over here. 
There we go. And that has no payment. I honestly don't remember how many carrots I have. These are all missing from the Wither fight, which was sold for free because now we have this. So I'd say the one that lost the most money on this would be me. But Match, I don't think lost any of his armor. Me and Denier lost things. Denier lost his entire inventory pretty much, except for his pickaxe. And his keycard. We have both keycards, luckily. Um, gonna go get the thing in, I guess. Hope for another skeleton. Okay, I forgot that I had speed when I came in here. The weather fight is gonna be a fun video because I have a plan on how to kill it properly, unlike Bun Master decided, let's take this thing above ground and fight it above the sky. Nearly worked. And by nearly, I mean our death counters for, well, not mine, my, I only died once. Everyone's death counter just went through the roof there. That was involved. So... That sucks for all of them. I don't know if you can get this with normal pickaxe, so I'm just not gonna risk it. And we have made 16, em 16 diamond profit since the last video. Working on the creeper farm, I decided let's go into the ravines that were, were near it. Found 13 diamonds there. Help. I ended up helping Wrathborn a few times out of the nether, the end. Because when you're not prepared for something, you shouldn't do it. <coughs> my voice is dying on me. So he decided, let me go to... <coughs> okay, my voice really is dying. So he decided to go to the end and... Try to get diamond gear, silver boxes, and all that good stuff. He regretted it because he ended up dying a couple of times. I helped him. He ended up paying me three diamonds. Those three diamonds now will be used to replace my silk touch pickaxe. So, everything has a way of working out in the end. How do I have phantoms on me? I slept earlier. By right, earlier, I mean at the beginning of this video, I slept. It's been... One night cycle? Oh my goodness. Also, I hate these guys. We really need a way of making villagers unable to spawn near our house. Or near villages, because this house counts as a village. Key cards are in here. That's fun. You want your key card back down there? I'll leave it on the chest that. Wrathborn left. I think I'm gonna buy this last huh? unbreak. You are... Wait, are you glitched that main? Or is it just that you've been in unloaded chunks the entire time? So if you're wondering, we have a stack of diamonds officially. We are not good with diamonds. I accidentally increased my sensitivity. That was fun. Yeah, leave the pillagers be. Yes, I will come and open the vault for you. I'm trying to think what to do from here. Because... The nether is not wanting to spawn skeletons. We'll end the video off by going back and seeing that. But for now, I'm trying... Okay. See if Unbreaking Villager becomes fixed, because it seems like she broke. We have to create a chest for that. Create one of them. On the other wall. The left wall fee. Alright. Yeah. 
create the first three to be anisite, diorite, and you know what and huh? Yeah. Slowly our storage system will become that of is a hermit craft. AKA how Mumbo Jumbo had it. But more effective because why not create a more effective system than people that are good at redstone? <laughs> ah. Where is it that I see? It's the food that I seek, and I bringing my keycard to the nether with me. Probably the smartest thing I've done. Okay, step one. Max out our armor. And we will go on from here. Okay. So now we just have to wait for them to spawn, which they should probably... I'm hoping that something spawned. And we get that because, come on. Huh? Hey guys. Okay. We actually need to finish the house. Uh, leave me down in the comment section what you want us to finish. The part one of Mountain, which is that one fourth I'm working on, or the house. If you guys don't comment anything, I will finish the house up because that is more important, I would say. So that's where we're right now living. And now we're just on the hunt for anything that can spawn. So this is going to take a while. Because running the rounds around here are time consuming. If you have any ideas on how to get more weather skeletons to spawn, let me know. And make sure they're not cheap mode because we are playing in survival. Trying to have achievements aren't. But one way of getting a bunch of weather skeletons is sticking down a spawner in here for weather skeletons. I need to test something real quick. That's where that wall ends. I always test what way the walls end. Pause and quit, pause and quit. Because you're just glitched, it looks like. Doesn't say you're dying. Yeah. Denner fell through the ground when he came through. Um. I would say respawn, but I would say let me get to you first. Oh, there's another one. They're actually spawning, kind of. Not as good as day one when we came here and the five of them decided to team up for me. Get off the ledge, man! Thank you. I don't want to hit you off into the eternal lava pit below. Ow! What? That's like three that I've killed and no skull yet. Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage with this. Well, it doesn't last as long as the wither for 30 seconds, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, that's the way I normally come. I don't remember if I went this way last time. We'll see. I don't remember what is this way. Ah, uh, it's just this run. That's how we get this guy. Why do you guys love the sidewalls? And you are surrounded by pigment, so if I accidentally hit pigment, I'm going to get triple team. Thanks for the call, at least. Come on, I want a skull. And I got no clue how to make a wither farm in this game, so... With a skeleton farm, I guess I should say. One last way to check before we end the video. And tell us where the skeletons are broken. I'm surprised that even he spawned. Actually, I'm surprised that any spawned this time. Yeah, he did face through the floor, so the nether's broken. 
I've noticed that pigmen aren't spawning as much in the zero tick farm, actually. It's like the nether's changing slowly. Wonder if they're... Ha actually, I should probably go this way. If the coding has changed so that slowly over time, the nether... You don't have anything of value on you, right? And your keycard. Nope, you died. So he phased through the ground. He phased through the ground. Lost his pickaxe, meaning we lost three more diamonds there. And w what else happened? Maybe we need to get his keycard back, which I can easily copy over. So we're going to fix that later. Or we're going to just ask Bone Master to re boot the world from the last save because that's obviously a glitch that does not deserve to be carried through and no weather skeletons over here so that entire time you do you really want to start a fight with me sir fine there you go Okay, I guess we can go back to the nether portal and in the video there. And Dan Air is obviously angry that he just lost all his stuff. Uh, that sucks. Because you can actually get your stuff back. Well, that's why you need to learn to carry a tone when dying and stuff like that. I have three in my inventory right now. Which is more than I usually carry, but... <clears throat> when it comes to the nether, you always want to carry more than needed, because lava pits can be... Humongous! I'm trying to... Think. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how much gold we have at Arkansas Inc. Because I've been sitting here a while AFK. And I will continue to sit here AFK because the nether update will be coming soon. And we want as much gold as possible. Unless he's already messed around with this and took in all the gold and done stuff with it. Ready? There we go. Yeah, we almost have not, uh, 18 stacks of that. And we have all of this gold. I think these are empty, yeah. So, you know, the gold farm's been productive. And so has the carrot farm. If you look over here, I've had to add in another barrel. Which is maxed out. Uh, and then there's pillagers. Everywhere we go, there's a pillager. I would upgrade this, but since the nether update is soon to come out for pockets, and I don't feel like wasting my time digging out a giant chunk. Putting in another part, throwing around all the crafting tables, doing the redstone, collecting all the lava. So I'll just keep using it like it is, have the productivity as it is, and just keep seeing AFK for long periods of time. Not like I've yet crashed the world. I actually haven't, which is the surprising part. It's just no longer needed. All my. S Ooh! That's helpful. Also, another thing that happened during that wither fight was before it. Daniel came over here with Bad Omen, not really, and because I forgot that we had villagers. And we started a raid and they destroyed one of our plants. I will get revenge. But yeah, this is like my favorite build I've built. I just need to figure out how to make a roof. And how to make this look better. I uh, hope you all enjoy. Subscribe if you're subscribed, turn notifications, and leave a like if you did enjoy. See you all in the next video.